Hey guys, what's up? Macboy here, and today I'm going to be doing a little quick tutorial um, requested by someone on Facebook. Send me a message. Anyone to know how to do this? So I'm just going to make a really quick video. Uh, I think it's a really cool tip and should be known again by all Mac users. And this is how to make uh, different kind of files on your hard drive, like MP3 or uh, video files open up with different applications every time you click on them without having to right click then click open with and then clicking on whichever you want to open so what he's saying is he has an audio file but he doesn't want to open up in iTunes he wants it to open up to open it up in another application like QuickTime so the default when you have an mp3 file or an AVI file sorry not AVI but um, an mp3 file or an audio file um, it will open up in iTunes if I double click on it. So this is my little audio from uh, my intro that uh, was made to me by uh, MacBook. So thanks a lot, MacBook, and here it is. All right, so that's about 25 seconds. And um, if you want to edit it and you don't want to open up in iTunes, but you know you can op go do this right click, open with, and then whatever you want. This is the trick. To make it always open up in something that you want to uh, open it up with, so say you want to open up with uh, QuickTime Player, every single time you double click on it, what you do is you just right click, open with, and then hold down the Option key or Alt key on your keyboard. And then you can see it'll say Always Open With, now, sorry, Always Open With, now select the one you want, say QuickTime Player, alright? And now, as you can see, the icon has changed to the QuickTime icon. And now, now if I open it, let me quit that. If I open it, my QuickTime player shows up down here, and it's right here. Again, if you want to change it back, you just right-click, open with, hold Option, and then you can click on iTunes. All right, guys, that's basically it. Thank you much for watching. This has been MacBook Productions. And uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter, add me on iChat, and become a fan of MacBook Productions on Facebook. If you did find this video helped you out a little bit or showed you a pretty neat trick, please, please, please make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe on this video and channel because I do appreciate every single comment and rate that you give me. And, of course, subscribe for much more. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.